Well, on this day, 11 years ago, a utility pipeline explosion claimed the lives of eight people and destroyed dozens of homes in San Bruno. The 30-inch natural gas pipeline owned by PG&E exploded in the Crestbourne neighborhood. This was back in 2010. Jurors convicted the utility uh, uh, company of obstructing, of obstruction rather, and for failing to classify the gas line as high risk. PG&E paid out more than $3 billion in fines and legal settlements related to that pipeline explosion and was also put on probation. Well, tonight, one survivor of that explosion is speaking up about his loss and his appreciation for life that has grown since that day. Crown Force Ella Sogamonian joins us live in the studio tonight with his story. Ella. Pam, at the time, Joseph Gomez was just 19 years old and in love. He was enjoying an NFL season opener beside his girlfriend at home that afternoon when the pipeline burst, changing everything in an instant. And then just out of nowhere, just the house starts filling up with fire, completely around us, 360. That's the eerie sound of flames ripping through Joe Gomez's San Bruno neighborhood in 2010. He managed to get out of his home and onto the street where a mother and daughter rushed him to the hospital, seeing that his skin was shredded and hanging from his body. Sadly, his girlfriend, Jessica Morales, didn't make it. Right after that, I was in a coma for two months. I was in the hospital for six months. I had over 30 surgeries. Still getting surgeries to this day. I took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and you know, I'm just I'm just lucky to be here. Thank God. PG&E was fined 1.6 billion dollars by the California Public Utilities Commission for that pipeline explosion, and paid out hundreds of millions of dollars in settlements to those who lost loved ones, were burned by the fire, or whose homes were destroyed. A jury also convicted PG&E of obstruction and five counts of pipeline safety violations, including failing to evaluate potential gas line threats and deliberately not classifying a gas line as high risk. PG&E released a statement on Thursday that says in part, the events of this day transformed our gas operations organization and we remain committed to doing everything possible to prevent something like this from ever happening again. It wasn't just the utility company that took away crucial lessons that day. Yeah, don't take uh, don't take your mobility for granted. Don't take life for granted. You never know when it could be your last moment, your last day. Rick Gomez says that another real struggle after the recovery and then the lawsuit with PG&E is another lawsuit. This time, the one filed against his own personal injury attorney who represented him in the first case. He claims that that lawyer turned Real Housewives reality show star Tom Girardi ran off with his settlement money. Live in the studio, Ella Sigamonian, Cron4 News. Ella, thank you for that report tonight.